Hey, what's up guys? I um, hope you're well. So today we're gonna to look at parametric plots uh, using Mathematica. And I'm gonna use the same functions that I've used for my Maple video. So I'll put the link in the comments. Okay, cool. So on a side note guys, yeah, um, I'd really appreciate it if you do subscribe to my channel. So if you like what you see, please do subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate that. Okay, cool, so let's get started. So parametric plot, because uh, with uh, Mathematica, you, you don't really need to load packages, okay? Right, so it's gonna be a simple one. So it's gonna be cos t, okay, and then um, sine t. Okay, and then uh, my t ranges will be from zero to two pi. There we are, okay, cool. So doing my second plot, okay, so parametric plot, Okay, and uh, so I'm going to put two arguments, okay, so my outer curly bracket and then the inner. Okay, so that's going to be, um, so two times uh, cos t, right, and then uh, the other function will be sine t, okay, right. Then the other argument, right? So you need to be careful with these curly brackets. So that's going to be a uh, cos t. Oh, sorry, capital starts with a capital C. Uh, so cos t, and then um, sine t. And uh, always remember that um, functions in Mathematica always start with capital letters. Okay, right. And then uh, the t ranges as well. So uh, zero to two pi. Cool, right? Um, heading on to the next plot, so parametric plot again. Um, so this is going to have uh, four um, arguments. So this is the outer curly bracket. So the first argument, right? So that'll be uh, two times cos t. Oh, sorry, two times cos t. Okay, and then uh, we're going to have uh, two times sine t. Okay, right, and the next argument, right, and that would be uh, two times cos t and sine t, right, so two times cos t and then sine t, right, the next argument, and that would be cos t and two sine t. Right, and then the final argument. Um, that's going to be. Uh, I just need to make sure I'm doing it right. Cos t sine t. Okay. Right, and then the ranges. So the usual stuff. Two pi. Cool, right? Quite neat. Okay. Now I'm gonna use um, the exponential function in my part, next parametric plot. So parametric. Sorry. So parametric plot. Okay. And um, first one. So it's gonna be expo exponential. And so I'm going to uh, nest them with a function in there, so sine t. Okay, and then um, that exponential as well. And then uh, that'll be cos, cos t. Okay. And the usual, sus <laughs> the usual ranges, so 0 to 2 pi. Okay, 2 pi. If you want to do it symbolically, uh, you can just press escape twice and then type in pi. There we are. Right. Cool. Right. So I'm just going to copy this and then just keep adding more arguments. So you're going to see what's going to happen. Right. 
and um, I'm going to put um, our auto curly brackets here. Right, you gotta be very careful here. So come on, copy, and then paste that in there. So that's gonna be uh, two times that function, and then two again times that function again. So just make sure that everything's correct. Okay, cool, right, and then do the same again. So come on, copy, and then paste that in there again, right? So add another argument. Actually, let me change that. So come on, copy, and then paste that in there. Right, so I'm gonna change, I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna put three there. And then put three. Right, I think we all good. Yep. There we are. Cool. Right. So as you, as you keep adding, you know, if you put four, then another. And if you put four, you will just keep adding more and more and so and so forth. Okay. Cool. So hopefully this was helpful, guys. So if you like what you see again, please do subscribe. And thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye bye.